hello guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel and today i'm going to do a very interesting thing and uh, which is uh, how to get the gps location using this uh, module that you can see that is the neo 6m gps so uh basically this is uh, uh the module itself i uh, just have to connect uh, vcc to five volts ground to uh uh, ground and then TX you connect to RX of your board and uh, RX you connect to TX of your board so uh, the good thing with uh, this Neo 6 M GPS module is that uh, the moment it is connected uh, just uh, start transmitting data vomiting data out uh, through the UART and you just have to read uh, the data and then see uh, like uh, or simply extract the uh, GPS location from that so uh, so I'll just go ahead to my CubeMX create a new uh, project so I'll go ahead and select the board that I'm using and I'm using F401 RE that is nuclear select the board and then start project then you don't have to initialize in the default mode so in the pinout and uh, configuration the first thing i want to do is clear the pinouts and then i'll go to our uh, system core and uh, rcc i enable the external resonators then i'll be using uh, uh two user peripherals and the uh, user at one is whereby I'll connect my G or uh, GPS so just go and enable this in a synchronous mode and then I'll set the board rate to 9600 that is the default board rate of the Neo GPS and then uh, I'll go to uh, system core again at a DMA I'm going to receive data uh, from the GPS uh, using uh, DMA peripheral also so I just go to DMA2 and add and uh, select uh, USAT1 RX because we shall only be receiving from the NEO and uh, the mode you have to select in circular mode so it can continue to receiving data continuously so uh, then from there I'll go to uh, connectivity and uh, select my user 2 then I'm going to select this in a uh, use uh, asynchronous mode and set this to 9600 and then uh, I'll go to uh, clock configuration and uh, 84 megahertz is okay for me uh, we have to give a project a name so I call it GPS uh, YouTube tutorial and the ID that I'll be using is Kelly vision so select MDK arm and then you generate code go ahead and open project from there I'll go to application user code and open the main.c and then uh, the first thing I want to do is to uh, build the code so uh, the code has no errors so uh, for faster development of this uh, tutorial I decided to copy and paste the code in a file so I'll just go ahead and uh, copy these two uh, my main and I'll explain so I'll go to private variables and this is where the raw data that will be received from the Neo GPS that will be stored this is just a, a buffer to hold uh, some data for some time for processing and then after extracting uh, the time and the location this is where we shall uh, store the payload and then this flag will be used to notify us when uh, the data has been received uh, from the GPS uh, using DMA interrupt and then we have the message index uh, this is just to loop uh, around to help us in uh, 
uh, extracting the message and also we have the character pointer which you will come across in the uh, project then we have the float variables that is the time uh, the latitude and the longitude and then this time we shall be split it into hours minutes and seconds so then I go ahead and uh, copy these two prototype function and uh, the first uh, one is to get uh, the data frame which has the location of uh, the date and the, the likes and also the speed then after we get uh, that for the, the whole data payload you pass it you pass some variables to this function called format data that will help us to uh, get uh, now the data from the payload so then i'll open uh, this i'm going to use hal uart receive uh, using dma call it in user code begin two so i'm going to receive a uh, 700 uh, characters through the uart by using the dma peripheral and uh, this data will be stored in rx data and then after 700 characters are received uh, there is a function called uh, void hal uart rx complete callback this will be called uh, because it these uh, operates in interrupt mode so I'm going to call this function in user code begin uh, going to paste it here so when it is, has received uh, the data we shall have the flag variable set to one uh, and now when we set it to one we shall read uh, the data and then uh, from there this is the function uh, get location and you shall just copy out these in user code begin for also so uh, we can have uh, get location and uh, inside this function we have the message index and you are going to copy the rx data to the tx data then we have this uh, function which is defined in the string.h so we are searching for this word gprmsc those are the initials and then when we find that uh, this string of characters in the tx data uh, this function returns a pointer pointing to the first character so if we point the first character which, which is g now we are going to uh, get the payload until uh, where we have a new line terminating character then you are going to use a scan f to scan through the strings and uh, extract the various variables so the first variable is the uh, is the time then we have uh, this character a and then you have latitude which is a float then we have n then we also have a uh, longitude which is also a float then after we get this data we shall pass it to format data function to get the times in hours minutes seconds then we also use a uh, sprintf to cast uh, the time the latitude and longitude into the data buffer and then transmit that through uart2 which we can view using uh, terra time so i'm going to import uh, two important header files which is a hash include stdio.h then hash include string dot h and also we can include 
stdlib.h so stdlib.h so let's uh, build this code to see whether we have any errors no errors so i'm going to call this function in the main that is uh, get location so i'm going to have this function in the main in the user code begin three you get the location and then when this function is called uh, let's go to where it's defined okay and then the first thing i want first to transmit is the uh the row format data and i'm just going to comment this and i'm going to transmit the row data so just have tx data so that we can see how data is uh, tx how data is received by our nuclear board and then let's view this code and then let's download this code to our board and uh, then, then uh, we can debug and see whether the interrupt will be f uh, fired upon reception of uh, 700 characters so I'm going to add a breaking point uh, I'm going to add a breaking point here so and then start you can see that uh, these interrupt uh, fu this function will be called when we receive uh, 700 characters and then uh, frag variable is set to 1 and then this function will be called if flag is 1 it should now be able to extract the data so i'm going to uh, fire up my teraterm so that now we can visualize the data that is transmitted uh, then you're going to select the uh, com port whereby you have connected your device and then we manually reset the board and i'm going uh you can see that uh, we have the data that is being received from the gps note that uh, this form of data will be received uh when uh we have uh the uh, the red led blinking to show that it's receiving data and uh just to take a close view you'll see that we have this uh this uh, format here uh, it starts with gp rmc uh, i can manually set again and see what we shall have so you can see that uh, we have a uh, gp rmc here uh, whereby the first the, this is the time representation and we have also the latitude representation longitude and then we have the speed in knots and then we have the date and the last uh, is the um, what we call the CRC uh, this is just to uh, help you uh, know whether the data format uh, that has been sent is valid so uh, from here I'll just go back to uh, the uh, code and I'm going to edit a few things so that we can extract the data from the payload so the first thing I want to do I'll comment this out or just I'll have to delete it and then I'm going to uh, remove the comments from this line then uh, debug uh, build the code then you download the code to our board and then uh, you can uh, clear everything and then when you reset the board so you can see now we have the time 
and then we have the latitude and the longitude uh, and uh, this is how you can get the GPS location so thank you guys for being with me and I uh, hope uh, you like the video please share and uh, subscribe and if you have any question leave it in the comment section I'll see you in the next tutorial